most people are familiar with the book The Da Vinci Code. However, you may not be familiar with what happened after the book ended. No, not the epilogue. The epilogue's epilogue. You see, when people read The Da Vinci Code, they were quite unsatisfied with the ending. So, naturally, they called the police. The police then tracked down three of the main characters and interrogated them for more information. These are the lost interrogation tapes of The Da Vinci Code. Yeah? Uh, sir, we need you to go interrogate the suspects. Okay, hold on. Shh. Uh, TV. That sounds like a made up name. Did you make that name up? No, we did not make that name up. Okay, fine then, Mr. T. We're gonna need your side of the story. Cool. Back in my day, we only had half of the side of the story. We didn't have stories, we had dirt. And it only cost like five cents. Not like your fancy Google, Google computers these days that cost like a bajillion dollars. Oh, we're gonna need your side of the story. Well, it, it was late at night, and this guy was snooping around my house, and he woke me up, and well, and he was asking something about Jesus, and we went on this this uh, journey to find the Holy Grail, and then we ran into this uh, like albino monk man. Oh, why exactly were you trying to find the Holy Grail? Oh, we were trying to find the Holy Grail to reveal to the world that Jesus was a man and not an all-powerful being. Okay. So, um, we're just going to have you sign this confession that you killed the old man at the Louvre. I, w I wasn't even at the Louvre. No, just, but just I'll sign, sign it anyway. Okay. Sign it in the red, because that's the color we used back in the day. That, that's my money. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Sir, are you okay? I think you just had a heart attack. I'm going to go get help. S I L oh, no I albino wolf man write that down. Albino. How do you spell albino? Shut up, Guaylo. Yeah, Guaylo. Okay. Albino monk man. Um, according to Mr. Langdon's testimony, 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 you killed them. Man. Yes. No, no, I did it for the church. Why do you have an old Chinese restaurant takeout man accent? That has nothing to do with this. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it's it very does. No, it doesn't. Shut up, Guaylo! <clears throat> Tell us from your side of the story what exactly happened. I was at the Louvre, and I saw this Tom Hanks fellow. He... He killed him. He killed him. He killed him. He said you killed him. Huh? No! Yes. I'm right! No. You are wrong! No, I'm not. Sir, he I'm wrong. You wrong. are wrong. I'm right! No, sir, you're not. Um, says here you died. Uh, how exactly did you die? I was at this house at Hope is Day, and, um... Uh, and there were these cops there, and they shot me. Why, well, why exactly did they shoot you? Did you have a gun? Well, no, I had this whip. whip. I kind of whipped myself with it. You whipped yourself? Yeah. For pleasurable reasons, or just... I have my reasons. You have your reasons, okay. Well, um, we're just going to have you sign this confession saying that you killed the old man. You can just sign right there. This? Yes, yes. Uh, just, I'll Look, he's got zero! Where? Ninja Vanish! Where'd he go? No, no, no. It says here that you are charged with murder of an old man. I didn't kill anybody. He was the albino monk man. An albino monk man. Yeah. Next you're going to tell me it was a green monkey. What? There's an albino monk that hurts himself and he goes around killing people. Do you know how absurd that that sounds? I, I, it probably sounds somewhat far-fetched, but I assure you it's all true. You know what else is far-fetched? Your Mickey Mouse watch. What's up with that? Well, I feel if I had the Mickey Mouse watch, it was a gift to me by my parents. And it helps me connect with my inner child. That's gay! Watches aside, tell me exactly what happened. Well, I was just signing books in like some bookstore, right? It's a pretty good deal, I get paid for it. And then this cop guy, all French, comes over to me and like wants me to go to the Louvre. The Louvre? The Louvre, yeah. Louvre. It's the Louvre. I would have it's the Louvre. Shut it's the Louvre. Anyway, so then I get there, and then this one lady like comes up to me and then there's like this dead dude on the floor with some sort the of- The man that you killed. I didn't use that albino monk man. There is no such thing as an albino monk man. Anyway, so he's there with some sort of devil markings on and he's naked, that's the creepy part. He's naked. You kill the naked old man. Why would there be a naked man in the Louvre? I don't know. Why would you kill a naked old man in the Louvre? I didn't. I was there because the cop man wanted me to go there and then I meet this one lady. She's French too. Everyone's French in this. I'm not French in this. Are you French in this? No, I'm German. None of us are French. 
Anyway, so then I get there, and then she says that the cop is setting me up because he wants me to confess. And we try to escape, and there's this code written on the Mona Lisa. And we eventually go to this old guy's house, where he tells us that, like... Wait, T-Bing? The old man? The English guy? And so, we have this thing, and then there's like some code, and if you don't put it right, then it will break and destroy the thing forever. Do you know what the code was about? Da Vinci. So, we leave, and then we go to a place. Mm -hmm where it's like a churchish place. Uh-huh. And then- Calm down, man. I believe Sophie, the one lady- Sophie Nabu. Yes, yeah, Sophie Nabu. Yeah. French person. Yeah. She smell like cheese? Yes, all French people smell like cheese. What kind of cheese? Brie. Are you sure it wasn't Gouda? Gouda's good. Gouda is good. Gouda is pretty good. But it wasn't Gouda? No, was it, it was Brie. Was it sharp cheddar? It was Brie. Was it so, then I'm pretty sure that Sophie is related to Boyle, Jesus Christ. So you're telling me that you believe Sophie Nabu is in the family lineage of Jesus Christ? Why? Yes, I do. So you would sign right here saying that? Yeah, I would. Well, then sign it. Right here, sir. Robert L. Landon. Yes. Now you have to put yes. Yes! That is a confession, sir! You just signed a confession! You killed the old man! It says, right yes if you killed the old man! You killed the old man! That is your yes signature! Well... Can I see a gun for a second? Yeah, sure. It's a pretty nice gun, though. Just be careful with it. It is. Pretty high quality. Pretty nice gun. For a cheap gun, it's not bad, though. Smith & Wesson, they're a very popular brand name. They are. I've actually met them before. We met them. Remember that yeah. one time? Yeah. Back does, does it does it cough like that? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah. And then you just yeah. Oh.